pandemic hardly seems like the right time to launch a new business, but what if the opportunity presents itself? Our Steve Garagiola introduced us to some friends who realized it was time to take a chance. Over the past five months, many small businesses have battled to survive. So why would anybody think about starting a business right now? In this case, it required a fair amount of courage, determination, and some great recipes. It really started as just having fun baking bagels. Um, we love bagels. I've had a bagel every day of my life. Some would argue that's not a compelling reason to start a new business. Joe, Dan, and Devin were housemates with a great hobby, and each of them already had a real job. At, at first, uh, the business was not top of mind. It, it really felt like an over-involved hobby, um, a passion <laughs> project that really got away from us. At first, the idea of starting a business seemed foolish especially because we started by making some really bad bagels at the beginning. Um, we were using my grandmother's bread machine to bake bagels. We didn't have a lot of control over the process. But they did have some friends and family who counseled them on what a terrible idea it was to think about starting a small business during the coronavirus shutdown. Yeah, there were, there were a few folks that said, you know, there's a pandemic going on, <laughs> um, as if we didn't know. But they believed in themselves and their bagels. They got involved with a craft beer hub in Ferndale called the Ferndale Project, where they bake. And it's one of two locations where they sell their bagels. They relied on one of life's simple truths. People love bagels, and there just aren't enough in the city. Their bagels were good, and business grew. It became clear one of them would have to take the leap, quit his job, and devote full time to the bagel business. It felt kind of crazy and, and, and reckless and really scary at first. Uh, I'd be going out on my own. The big question nagged at them. Why not wait for a better time to start a business? Just waiting for the perfect time. Um, it'll never come. In a crazy way, the isolation of coronavirus actually helped because they worked day and night and having a social life was impossible anyway. That's something that would have felt like a lot larger of a sacrifice had we not been doing essentially nothing in the evenings. One thing they all agreed on is that it takes a village even to sell bagels. Starting a small business, especially in Detroit, there's so many people that want to help you. And if you really want to do an idea, you love it, you know, Detroit's the place to make it happen. Would they advise others to take the leap and start a business? It's all consuming. It's going to take up all of your time. But, you know, what is, what is your time for but working on something you love? So, you know, every minute we spend boiling, baking, thinking about flavors, you know, it's a lot. I, I go to bed very tired, but, but I love my days. They have two locations selling their bagels, one in Ferndale, one in Detroit. We've put a link to their bagel business on our webpage, click on Detroit. I'm Steve Garagiola, Local 4.